Hey guys, and welcome to the Super Condensed Patch 5.55 Note Summary. As a heads up, if all you want to know is about Relic stuff, head to the end of this video. I have timestamped it out because I know that that's going to be a really hot topic going forward. Timestamps locked and loaded. Let's get right into it. Bards are going to be getting the electric guitar as a music instrument, and yes, this is not a drill. And as someone who plays the bard a lot, I'd be surprised if you didn't hear plenty of Blink-182, Green Day, Avengers Sevenfold, Nirvana, and no, for me that does not smell like the only song I know, or basically any other song that I heard as a kid growing up. Anyone in Earshot is going to be taking a nostalgia trip right back to junior high. Now as for an announcement I know a lot of you want to hear. You can now trade in Emerald Tones for the Emerald Dragon, and the drop rate of Diamond Dragons from the Diamond Weapon Extreme has been increased. I know a lot of you want to hear this, and so this is great news. Honestly, may the land waffle domination continue. In other great news for so many of you, I know a lot of you wanted these weapons, is that there was a bug fix done that some of the trial weapon drops couldn't be desynthed to give their crafted weapon component. That has now officially been fixed, so now get out there and flood the market board with pretty weapons like Tsukiyomi's Moonlit Weapons. Those are beautiful and honestly make such a great gift. Unlike always, and yes I said unlike, we're getting a main story scenario quest added with patch 5.55. This was because patch 5.5 story was broken into part A and part B planned around the reveal of the brand new information during last week's fan fest. So this edition of part B will be directly leading us into the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV that has a free trial that lets you level all the way to 60. Okay, I was trying to like the memes maybe a little bit too hard there. But you know what I mean. <laughs> Next up, we are going to be getting the concluding quests for the Shadowbringers Alliance raid, Your Hud Dark Apocalypse, being added. Exactly what rewards lie here? That remains to be seen, but you do need to have completed the weekly Yorha quests and have completed all of the messages from the dig site chief to continue. So, let's see what's in there. It's going to be Type 69Z leggings. Who knows? I mean, Type 2B leggings could get a buff. You never know. Triple Triad players rejoice. If you want to show off your absolute love of Triple Triad, now you can fly on this magical floating card, Yu-Gi-Oh! More like Yugi yes <laughs> This requires you to have completed the achievement of obtaining all Triple Triad cards in Final Fantasy XIV. And fly away on this card. Oh yes. Except they've added the emote that every cat boy <laughs> makes when they enter lips of Laminsa. <laughs> Also, the hairstyle that won the hairstyle design content has been added, and I think it's actually really cool and will look fantastic for a lot of people. It'll go with lots of glams. So honestly, it's super funky, and I love it. Patch 5.55 indicates that we get Season 19 of our PvP mode, The Feast, to begin. Now let's do a quick roundup. We've got new items, new minions, new mounts, new chocobro bardings, we have new mysterious recipes that haven't been unveiled yet, probably a lot of them, <laughs> honestly, and furnishings from the furnishing housing design contest being added, and um, that's not a drill, that is a spiral staircase, and yes, that is an indoor pond, and a gazebo. Hmm. This is actually going to really enable me to do some crazy housing things, so I live for this. <laughs> I am kind of sad that I'm not going to immediately be jumping into this. Trust me, I have so many ideas for that indoor pond specifically. Okay, now for the part that I know a lot of you are itching to get to. Let's talk relics. Relics have a beautiful set of quests to them, and those quests have been expanded upon. Only one thing I want to mention is that one of the quests has been indicated as being weekly repeatable, most likely for some bonus reward to help accelerate your relic progress, and requires 2 million metal. But you can't say only get 2 million metal once, accept the quest, and then drop to zero metal, and be like, oh, okay, I can keep doing it. You need to make sure that you always keep 2 million metal each week when you accept this quest. And I do have a sneaking suspicion that I might be grinding metal for quite some time, seeing 2 million here. <laughs> we'll see. Also, we are getting an entirely brand new relic map, so we're now not in the Bojan Southern Front, but now we are in Zadnor. Now we've also gotten a maximum resistance rank boost to 25 from 15. Remember that the levels in Bojan content are called resistance ranks, but this isn't where the story ends, which I think... how to say... One of the best features that I possibly could have gotten as one of the, uh, like, the relic hunting people that people call crazy that likes to farm out the relics. I can now progress past rank 25 with what is called resistance honors points that lets you gain bonus damage, healing, or maximum HP. For me who's going to be grinding out a lot of relics, this means that basically it's going to allow me to really, really, really gain 
ongoing benefit because one thing is like I've hit rank 15 eons ago and so when I get like told ho oh, ho you've gained a medal I'm like for what <laughs> it just kind of like sucked because it's like you hit level cap and so I am really actually really happy with the like ongoing honor system I think that it is an honor to have it I love it <laughs> Okay, that's way too corny. I, I know people have disliked this video just for that. I'm so sorry. But one thing is that these can be translated, these honors, into basically greater stats. You can get greater HP, greater healing, or greater damage. And I think that I'm going to just sink all mine into damage. Can, 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 can we say full damage honors? Can I get an amen in a video? <laughs> But one thing that I do want to note before I move on from here is that they did say very clearly in the patch notes that the more honors you hold, the greater their effect. So that's going to be really cool to see how that really works out at the end. Like, what's the final total damage bonus if I stack all of them? We'll have to see. So reading through the patch notes, there were two notable absences. Maybe I just missed it, but I did look again. Uh, but things that I noticed that were missing were that, first of all, there is a brand new cast from Lacus Latori, like instance called the Dalaridia being added. I, I, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. I'm trying here. Dalarada, Dalaradia. Someone's going to correct me and I'm going to try my best. <laughs> but just for completeness sake, I want to say that um, we are getting a brand new Castor and Lacus Latoria like instance called the Dalaridia. I guess cat's out of the bag. <laughs> Rothgar's out of the bag. Makoti's out of the bag. Also, the second notable absence is that during the fan fest, the developers very, very clearly took some time to warn us that there is going to be a story choice that is not trivial. It is going to impact some final outcome, apparently. So definitely be wary of the choices that you're making going into the story content. Because... Yeah, the developers, I've noticed they usually warn us about something that might actually be important, so definitely go in there wary. And how that is all for this video, take care and happy patch 5.55, and brace yourself for whatever eldritch horror 5.55 story is going to bring to lead us into Endwalker. Take care and have a great one.